you you mentioned the guys that are currently playing Derrick Henry, arguably uh, the best running back. Julio, let's talk about Julio. You know something about receivers. Where would you rank Julio? Well, as a physical specimen, right at the top, you know. And I saw Julio play in high school. Mm -hmm. And he was a man playing against boys, you know, when he was a 17-year-old uh, at uh, Foley High School, where he went to high school at. And, but he's a phenomenal talent. And, you know, I don't know if you heard the story that uh, DeMarcus Cousins, Got yeah. dunked on by Julio, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that says something right there. But an uh, unbelievable physical specimen, got great hands. He, he can, you know, you got some, you got the Marvin Harrison, you got the Steve Smiths of the world. You got some guys that can do a little of this, a little of that. Julio can do it all. He you can. know, he's just one of those things. You know, he, he's had some issues with his injuries, but when he's got his game on, you know, he can do it all. Unbelievable physical specimen. I want to know who the wide receiver coach, because as big as Julio is, Julio is two, is six, two and a half, six, three, 230, and can run routes like 185-pound wide receiver. Calvin Ridley can run routes. Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Devontae Smith. All these guys can run the route tree. Well, you know what? I, at Alabama, one guy recruits the next guy, you know, in because uh, we got some young guys there right now, Devontae Smith and yes. you know, uh, the, the, the young kid that got hurt. Those guys got David recruited Wallace. by the other guys, you right. know. So that's what happens. Hey, you come here, this is what's going to happen to you. You can be the next one. Everybody wants to be that next one. If they go there, they can be that next one, right? Uh, your draft, you mentioned some of the guys that were in your draft, also in that draft, uh, Earl Campbell, James Lofton, Clay Matthews Jr. You, Doug Williams, man, yeah. I, that you guys were that draft was loaded. Yeah, Art Steele, you know, uh, uh, with the with the Kansas City Browner. Yeah, yeah, he did Terry Miller. Yeah, it, it, it was a it was a heck of a draft, you know. And uh, I rem I got to know a lot of those guys from you know being on the different All American teams, right? You know, and they, and they were all a great bunch of guys, uh, you know, great people. Right. As well as good football players, you know. So yeah, it was a it was a real good class, and and I think we impacted the league when, once we all got our chance to get on the field. Ozzy, your rookie year, you named Browns Offensive Player of the Year as a rookie. As a rookie, that never happened. That had never happened before. What I mean? Well, I I think you know, I came in with some notoriety because I came from Alabama. And okay. people had seen me play, you know. Right. I wasn't an unknown uh, quantity when I got there. But, you know, what happened is, is uh, they were struggling with the quarterback position. And they mm -hmm. didn't know where, what, they didn't think Brian Sight was going to be the guy. Right. But he had a breakout year that year, you know. Right. And, 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 you know, and so we became, you know, we started throwing the ball all over the park with myself, Dave Logan, and Reggie Rucker. You know, we had the Pruitts in the backfield. So we were throwing it all over the park. And so I just got in to be a part of that. And I put up some numbers. And I think, you know what, a lot of people say, people like what's new. And I was new. You know, and I think that's okay. how I won that award. I was new. <laughs> you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.